Right, Aries, let's see what's going on for you. Oh, walking away from something, are you? All right, okay, this is gonna be the reading from the 24th going through to the end of the month. I will be having uh, the monthly readings coming out next week as well, so uh, you might want to subscribe and click that bell so then you get notifications on those uh, videos that are coming up. A lot of things have been um, happening for people, uh, happening for the signs, where it's been a, a lot about paying attention to the signs and the uh, and the messages coming in from the universe that is around you, sort of like the nature. It also could be sort of like signs on the sides of cars, uh, or lorries and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, this could well be part of it, part of that whole walking away from sort of a situation that, you know, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a painful one at all. Let's just find out what's going on generally uh, and get the general sort of message which is going on. Why well, it seems to be a lot, there seems to be a wave coming through uh, through your karmic messages, which is coming through here. Uh, there seems to be something that's building up within you at the moment. And uh, maybe it's making you realise that uh, this type of life or this type of situation is not really for me. Therefore, I've got to walk away from it. OK, uh, let's just see uh, what's going on with the karmic message for you at the moment. On This is on your relationship side. Uh, this is on your money side. So let's just see on this side. I think you had something like being the pillar uh, in your last reading, last week's reading or the week before. And I think this is now um, staying strong or staying true to what you have decided in the uh, in the recent past. So if you do, yeah, if you do stick to your guns, this is really important. If you do stick to your guns within your relationships that are around you, and this could be family, friends, community or your couple, it's going to bring in a lot of people to your life. And I think that was also something that came up in your uh, reading last week as well. Um, and I think it's going to make you feel um, absolutely uh, empowered in a way uh, in your newfound position, which is a very uh, enjoyable position for you, actually, Aries. Um, and it's going to be a position where you can actually... Uh, impose uh, decisions upon uh, your your relationships that are around you in accordance to what you've done and and what you and how you positioned yourself okay uh, but it's going to bring you good success and make you really feel at, at one with your relationships that are around you and this is that wave that coming through that I was talking about This is like a new you. It's a new way of doing things that you've realised. Um, you might have realised that um, over the years uh, that, that sometimes you don't have to take a hammer to, to smash a, a walnut. Uh, and it's more a case of actually with your position that you take and obviously working with other people and working within that community. And it's a working environment uh, situation. So... I'm not talking about your job here, but I'm talking about uh, relationships and your friends, your family and things that actually work. Uh, you know, um, treating people in a certain way gets you certain results. And I think this is your excellence of your work. And it's how you've positioned yourself within your community, within your family or within your couple that's going to bring you... Um, quality work from the people that are around you so quality interaction with the, with people around you let's just see what's going on with the uh, guides and how that's trying to influence that sort of karmic message they're almost like they're feeling like the toast of the toast of the town uh, they're really feeling that victory and they're really feeling that they've been, your guides have been part of something. And this is where I would recognise them um, and thank them and, uh, you know, be very attentive to the messages that are around your relationships at the moment, the coincidences, um, the situations that make you feel uh, a lot, lot better. 
um, yeah, the devil. So uh, the devil will be shining a lot on the pathway, but it would, um, it's, you've just got to be careful about not being obsessive about things as well. If you stick with that position that you've had over the last week uh, and with regards to your relationships um, and not being obsessive about it, just being, just being basically, um, your guides are going to be in a position where you can open up lots of possibilities within your relationships and working relationships. This is it, where it actually um, provides a lot for your community provides a lot for you, your family, your couple, or, you know, even if you're looking for someone at the moment, this is a good glow up moment to actually just invite people out for, you know, if you've decided to get yourself into a relationship, then go ahead and do it. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. They're advising you not to go back to old ways that may have entrenched you in a way of being that may have caused conflict and stuff like that. Three of three of cups, three of pentacles, the six of wands. This is real beautiful victory. And it's, it's walking towards that community, feeling that love of that community, feeling the love of the family and feeling the respect as well. I think because this comes out with this, uh, this side of things. And, you know, I think you're going to feel so good about your relationships and about your 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 environment, your relationship environment. It's really, really nice. OK, let's just go on to your money side. Let's see what's going on there with the karmic message there. This is setting up a really big victory. It's like a lifetime goal that is not here, but it's definitely being set up. And this is also where you should be paying attention to what is going on around you. Lovers, ah, beautiful. Um, we're on the money side. So um, yeah, you might well meet someone at work. That might be for some of you, but I think it's more of a case of actually enjoying and falling in love with what you do because of the rewards that it is going to bring you. And this, I think, is going to be massive for you, uh, Aries. As I say, it's ploughing through you at the moment. It'd be interesting to see how your monthly readings come out, uh, which will be coming out this week. Um, so, yeah, I think it's falling in, in love with a with a, an ideal or... Um, uh, you know, an eventual um, outcome that you have been working on for a long time. And it's getting there. And, it, and the more it gets there, the more you're going to feel absolute joy about the situation. Let's see how the universe is trying to guide that uh, karmic message. The universe is providing here... Um, like the nuts and bolts. They're not providing you with a big thing, but what they are providing you is with uh, within your job or within your business or within your projects of the little things that are working and, and, and fitting together. Um, so it might be a little coincidence, like, um, like a client comes back to you and sort of says, you know, you were talking about a certain product. We'd like to, you know, uh, buy that product off you. And it's, uh, it could be, let's just say you run, um, you run, let's just say you run a cafe, for example, uh, or, or run a uh, business advice uh, company. And what you're doing is, is you've provided advice for a certain company, which has allowed, um, allowed other aspects of your business to start actually joining on. So you provided advice for this, this company, and from that advice, uh, then comes then your, that, that, your client coming back to you and saying, um, that has worked so well, how can we now um, convert it into uh, extra sort of revenue for our company, which will then bring you more business. So it's providing those nuts and bolts. King of Pentacles, it's exactly what it is. 
The King of Pentacles is built upon a lot of knowledge, of previous knowledge, of understanding how things actually work. And you have got to feel that feeling of just, you know, feeling um, secure in your position and, and what you're offering and what you're doing is providing enormous amounts, not just for you, but also for your business or your job or your projects. Um, let's see how the uh, guides are trying to influence that, uh, that karmic message. It's all about enjoying the success, enjoying the work. Um, that's what it seems to be doing. The universe is, you know, the universe is helping you out with the nuts and bolts. And with, with those little things taken into, um, taken care of, your guides are now going to be kind of going, this is what we want. This is what we want. And I really think there's a massive thing coming your way uh, in the next sort of two or three weeks, which is going to provide for you a real lifetime goal in a way. It's looking really good for you. So those guides there are sorting out these gifts, as it were, or these opportunities that are around you. Let's just see how this, um, how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you in regards to your money and business. They're keeping your eye on the long-term goal, that, that, that life-changing aspect or that life-changing moment or, or, or period that is going to provide for you. And uh, let's just say you wanted to retire at the age of, say, 50. This is the sort of thing where a situation is being created where you can do that. You can achieve lifetime goals. Uh, so, yeah, it's the fall. Having faith in what you've been doing. Having, uh, you know, going all in basically. The funny thing is, is that, you know, the, the fool is holding on to that crystal there and your guides on the other side are trying to offer that crystal as well. I think this is tying it into a way of living. And I think this walking away is walking away from a particular type of living. So let's just say it's on the business side, you might have been doing lots of things that may not have been earning you a lot of money. And you've, you've realized that now. And then you can concentrate on the things that are really earning you the cash, okay? So, uh, or earning you the respect that you are due for everything. Let's just see what the um, the overall outcome is uh, for all of this and what's leading into the following week. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's like, uh, you know, I... Yeah, sometimes I go upstairs um, and oh, I'll, I'll put that on cinematic TV. I, I'm not, I don't want to use that one as a as a as a as a as a an example. It's like um, it's like you've um, you've you've expanded you've expanded that coffee shop and you've got more tables. Therefore, you're going to have more people coming in. So therefore, you've got to pre anticipate this. So you've got to buy in more coffee, and that's what it's like. It's being ready for that um <laughs> that future and it's finding that balance between those two sides i think this is a case of what is building up into you is going to be so life-changing that you're not going to be able to go back to the way you were before and you're going to feel so much better about this new life that's coming through for you uh aries so i would live it and live it fully be very attentive to the messages that seem to be around you at the moment that will help you uh, progress enormously. And this wave here, which is starting here, is really uh, building up to be uh, quite a big thing over the next sort of two or three weeks. So there you go, uh, Aries. Don't forget, we do have the monthly coming out this week. So you may want to subscribe and click that bell. So then you get the notification for those coming up. In the meantime, Aries, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.